Hello queens, angels, and goddesses. Welcome back to my channel. Warning this contains boy love. And if you don't like it then please get off my channel water pistol. Grinning face with cowboy hair. Bakugou is an angel. It was an average school day and they were in the middle of homeroom when it happened. There was a big flash of light that blinded everyone in New Sutafu. As soon as the light had ended and they could see. UA went into lockdown. The students and teachers went to the gym where they stayed till father notice. Azora and the other teachers were in one corner talking. Have we got anything on what that was? Azora asked. Naomasa doesn't have anything. No one has called in to report anything wrong. All Might said. So we know nothing, doesn't it mean it was a quirk accident? He asked, seeming like the most reasonable explanation. More than likely, but as of right now we'll stay in lockdown, till we can determine what it was, Nezu said. At that, the teachers went to their respective classes to help settle the students who were panicking not understanding what was going on. As the students finally calmed down, All Might's voice boomed across the room, Mike you need to set up the projector. Naomasa is projecting us live feed. Something is going on and he wants us to see. Mike quickly got to work and set up the projector, he quickly pulled up the link Naomasa sent. When it came up the live feed was looking up towards the sky, where a beam of light shone down from parted clouds. As they watched a figure descended from the clouds. As the figure descended more features were able to be made out. It was a young man looked no older than 20, with long blonde hair. But that wasn't the most striking thing, it was the fact that winds were on his backs. Pure gorgeous what winds that just seemed to glimmer under the light he was descending from. Finally, when the man came to stand above the town, a voice that seemed to just pop up in their heads spoke, Katsuki, show yourself. The voice commanded. As soon as those words came out, whispers started among the students. All who looked at Bakugou, who didn't look bothered by any of this. Deku bless his little soul walked up to Bakugou, Kei Kaken do you know this person? He asked. Bakugou looked at him frowning, before turning his head and ignoring him. The teachers and the students noticed this and all attention went to him. Bakugou you need to tell us what's going on, Azora demanded. Bakugou ignored them and turned his attentions towards the screen, where his eyes widen. Everyone turned back to the screen wondering what could have drawn his attention, but they too had their eyes widen. Some of the students started screaming and panicking, cause on screen what looked like some big ball of energy was being formed by the man. If you don't want to come out yourself, guess I'll have to drag you out. The man said. Bakugou let out a cuss before racing to the gym door. He pushed it open and he can hear the teachers behind him calling his name, but he ignored them. He felt his wings bloom from his back and he was off zooming to where the man was. Azora and the rest could only watch as Bakugou sprung a beautiful pair of black and white wings before he was off. Bakugou zoomed through the sky quickly reaching where the man was. Michael stop it. Bakugou screamed out. Ah, so you were here. I was wondering what it would take to draw you out. Michael said. Yes, I'm here. Now dispel your power. He growled out. It seems you have grown awfully attached to these humans. Why is that? I would expect after what you had experienced in your past, you would despise them. Then again you were such a forgiving soul. That's probably why the creator likes you so much. He said you can hear the jealousy in his voice. What business do you have here? You are not one for just coming to the mortal's realm without a reason, he asked. Well, no reason. Just to dispose of you, maybe then the creator would see what a mistake he made replacing me with you. He said releasing the energy and sending it down towards the city. Bakugou cursed and brought up a protective barrier protecting the town from the energy. As he did that Michael took the opportunity and attacked him. He used his sword and pierced Bakugou's arm who cried out in pain. You know it's funny how the creator is willing to accept you, even though you are tainted. I know you know these swords aren't able to hurt our kind. Yet, here you are bleeding. So why does he favor you so much? You are tainted. You shouldn't even be allowed to step foot in such a sacred place. Yet he allows it. What is so special about you? Michael screamed out in anger going for another attack that was blocked. Two figures now stood in front of Bakugou protecting him from Michael. Gabriel and Raphael. What are you two doing here? Michael said. Michael this is wrong. 
This is not the way you should be acting. You are an archangel and you were close to killing the very creatures the creator has created out of jealousy. Gabriel said. It's not fair. How the creator is allowing him, who wasn't even originally an angel, to begin with, take my spot. It's unfair. He is a nobody. What makes him so special that he can take my spot as the leader of the angels? He cried out in anger. This isn't the answer though, and you know it. If the creator was to find out what you have tried to do, he might just do what he did to Lucifer to you. Raphael said. Michael startled at that, but before he can respond a booming voice washed over everyone. Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Katsuki all bowed down, Michael, Gabriel, Raphael, and Katsuki. You are to return home immediately. The voice said. Yes, creator. All four responded. They quickly spread their wings and started flying up. Just before Bakugou passed the threshold between the mortal and the heavenly realm. He looked down and watched as the people. Looked up in surprise and amazement. Others scared and worried. Gabriel came down beside him, we have to go Katsuki. I'm sure you'll be able to see them again. She softly said. Bakugou gave a nod at that, but before going he turned to the camera that was streaming to the school, he gave a sad smile and wave, before flying up with Gabriel and disappearing into the light. Warning this fanfiction does not belong to me neither does the fan art. Credits to the original artist and author to the fan art and the fanfiction. My Hero Academia does not belong to me. Well by children smiling face with hearts.